transform your home into a winter wonderland, you're going to need help from the experts. I've got Megan Reynolds here, manager at Prairie Gardens, with me. Thanks for having us out here. Yeah, thanks for coming. So this is definitely totally Christmas everywhere you look, right? Yes, it sure is. So let's talk a little bit about the different themes here, because I know you all like to decorate trees mm -hmm. and give people lots of inspiration. So you actually have quite a few trees for people to check out and a few favorites. Yes, um, I'm going to kind of talk about three favorites today, but we do have 13 decorated trees. So right now we're standing in front of Farmhouse. Kind of the Chip and Joanna inspired yep. that theme. Mm -hmm. Yep, and there's a lot of Farmhouse inspiration with um, Farmhouse animals, but as well as some galvanized looks thrown in there as yeah. well. Well, let's come look at this okay. tree a little bit closer because I'm seeing the galvanized in the tins and mm -hmm. then cotton huge cotton is huge this year another big thing um, this year that's new are these candy molds and those are really fun um, we have them as an ornament but we also have an accent as well in a Santa or other different candy molds and as you can see we got Santa hanging out here oh, too. it so. kind of has that little vintage feel yeah it and sure does speaking of vintage you have like a kind of like an antique vintage theme tree as well mm -hmm. yep we have a retro th themed tree and it's kind of a 1950s feel it's got almost that diner feel it's a lot of glass ornaments and just kind of a vintage it also incorporates like a teal blue in there which is kind of fun yeah, for it's, Christmas it's fun to mix up your colors and, and yeah. go off of the traditional traditional route mm -hmm. you've also got a garden themed tree that's yes. gorgeous Christmas garden is kind of what you would see if you were in a winter garden so lots of red cardinals and berries um, snowy icy branches so it's really just what you would picture if you were walking through a garden in the winter. All right, now for the people who kind of have a little OCD on their ornament placement, I do believe it's a thing. Mm -hmm. We got some help because we have one more tree we want to go check out. Yep. So John Weisgarber, a design expert here, when it comes to your Christmas tree, is standing in front of another inspirational tree for us. Which one is this? This is called Christmas Past. Oh, and what is Christmas Past about it? Christmas Past is all about grandma and great grandma and you know, everything, the tinsel that we used to use. So, yes. so it's pretty cool. I love that we're bringing back the tinsel. But, yeah. you know, some people get a little intimidated when it comes to decorating their tree, especially when you want it to look this glamorous. So um, what are some tips for you? you got three rules. Absolutely, we have. We have the one, two, three rule that is foolproof. So what you go by is number one is a Christmas theme. Okay, so we've got Christmas past right. down. Two is at least two colors. We have oh. red and green. Right? Okay. And three is using three different textures and shapes. So let's talk about so, the three different textures we got going on here. Absolutely. So we have we have something flat, we have something round, and we have something that's spiky or long. Oh, nice. And so where do you think those should go? Do you well, have a perfect spot for these? We do, because you want to work with larger ornaments first. Okay. And place those in and work from the inside of the tree out. So then you finish up. So this is going to fill up a lot of our tree, making a cluster for impact, and then design outward with uh, our small ornaments last, just like we do our jewelry at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Accessorize. Absolutely. Right? So yeah. is there a right and wrong place to put ornaments? Because I know there's a lot of pressure. No. I know when my kids no. put them all down here, at the middle of the night, I kind of move yeah, you them gotta, around. you got to move them up a little <laughs> bit. But yeah, there's really there's really no no right or wrong way. You, you just make it look the way you want it to look. There you go. I love that advice. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our inside looking good, but now it's time to give our outside door a little pop, right? So we're going to go check out the wreaths. So we have each ornament perfectly placed on our tree inside, but now it's time to bring a little Christmas to the outside. I have Desiree Road here with me now. So everything wreath-wise here at Prairie Gardens is really custom-made, right? Yes, we do. We custom design, and the biggest uh, thing this year is cotton. So as you can see, this wreath has the cottons and the berries, which is traditional. Yeah, and we so also, what else do we have? We also have which is very popular, and this would be more retro, would be this uh, beautiful arrangement to set on your door. I love that. And so you do make all of these wreaths custom made. It's not just wreaths, though. We've got things that you could put maybe on your front porch or maybe on your dining room table, right? Exactly. <laughs> very cool. So and let's remind everybody where you're located here in town. We are at the corner of uh, Springfield and Duncan in Champaign, Illinois. There you go. If you need any inspiration to transform your home into totally Christmas, which is the theme here at Prairie Gardens this month in the holiday season, head to stayliving.tv after today's show and we'll get you connected.